Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to Grace Blossoms for you. How are you doing today? Are you crafting with me? Are you just watching? Um, what's your pleasure? Today I want to experiment some more, but only with one thing. This baby oil. I had heard that you could use baby oil to make things see-through or to make them look like vellum. And I also heard some people say, no, that's a bad idea because, um, spilled some already. That's a bad idea because it will make your journal all oily and, um, you won't be able to write in it. Nobody will be able to touch it because it's so oily. Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't leave it so oily that it does all those things. What you do is you put some oil on it to saturate it, like I'm doing right now with this book page. I don't know how much it's going to take for it to get all saturated but and I'm just doing it with my fingers and then seeing how much it will take for it to become see-through because that's the point right it's supposed to turn it kind of into a faux vellum and then what you do is you just mop off the excess. And yeah, so I already did some of these, so I know that this will dry fairly well so that it won't um, transfer the oil. And look at that. This is one of the things I embossed the other day and I used book page and now it's see-through. Let's see how see-through it is. I don't know. I brought some more book page because I wanted to try that. It's a little see-through, maybe not as see-through as I would like because it has um, writing on both sides. So, but I can vaguely see some of the music notes. So, that's kind of interesting. I mean, it's got a different, here I'll show you the original, which is this one. And then this is the one with the baby oil. And apparently any baby oil will work. In fact, I was thinking of the coconut oil I have in my kitchen. That might work as well. So, I don't know. Just a different look. Plus, it smells nice. The thing is, once it's got oil on it, it may not respond to glue. I have not tried how well that would work. So... Anyways, I'm just going to dry that off some more and put that to the side here. But yeah, the embossing powder and that's still there. It's still shiny. So, cool. Then I was thinking about tissue paper. How that would work. And I don't want to do a whole lot of it here, but... And since, since it's just a test run, I just wanted to do it on a smaller piece of paper. And so far, it doesn't really, I mean, I guess you have to go both sides. Tissue paper was already fairly see-through.
It doesn't really seem to want to um, soak it up, so it wouldn't take very much. Have you heard of origami, which is when they put shampoo, uh, not shampoo, conditioner or hand cream on a piece of paper, and then they wrinkle, wrinkle, crinkle, smash it, I don't know, they just manipulate that paper until all the lotion gets into the, the paper, and then they unravel it. And then they kind of ink the creases to make it look like a faux leather. Well, I tried that and I totally did not like the results. The smell of it was so strong I couldn't even, I couldn't even keep it. I had to get rid of it. So yeah, me, I am not an origami fan. And so this tissue paper, well, it's not tissue paper. Why do I keep calling it that? This is tracing paper. And I had put some acrylic paint dots on it. And so, like I said, tracing paper is already very thin and quite Translucent, translucent, sorry, not the other thing I was trying to say. Um, I think the oil just kind of make it a little stronger. Now, if I was really smart, I would not rub this off, but I would rub it on to something else. But, again, let's try with the music paper. Let's see, um, let's see. Let's compare with the original. Again, both tracing paper. And yeah, it does make it a little more translucent. The music notes there are darker than they are on this one. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but it is definitely more see-through. All right, so I'm gonna call that a success. And that's already pretty much dry. I didn't have to do too much with that one. Now I'm not saying I would make a whole junk journal out of this baby oil treated stuff. But surely, once in a while, if you wanted to add a little fragrant something or other, this would be an option. Even if you did just like a, like I said, a little um, stamp. You could make it a little bit bigger of a stamp and then just slide it into one of the smaller pockets. You know, just something to play with. And then I was wondering about music paper, how that would work. And sometimes I like to use just the strip of one, I don't know, bar. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a coffee dyed piece and then I'll fold it at an angle and then I'll use this as a base for a cluster. I think you've probably seen me do that. I've had them in my journals a few times. But anyways, that's why I like that sides. And then look, this will, this will work on here. And then all of a sudden you have, you can see both sides of the writing. And this one absorbs it really well. So you can see 
the difference immediately and it will take a little more oil to do the whole strip. So shall I do the whole thing? Why not? And if you have someone in your household that is a mechanic or mechanically inclined, you may find that they already have some baby oil. I know my husband bought this one because he needed it for something on his truck. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't even have to go out and buy any. We already had some. I may have to buy him some more now that I've used his little stash of it. So yeah, look at that. You can see both sides. That's just, I don't know. I think that would look really cool somewhere. I haven't figured out all the details. But maybe as a window. And probably again, I would sew it. I don't know if glue would do very well. I mean, you could encase it in something, I guess. All right, so I'm going to let that dry. I really like that one, actually. Then, what else? Oh, I did this one. I got to show you. This is amazing. This was wrapping paper. Well, it still is wrapping paper. But now it's translucent. It looks like vellum with the gold dots. And I'll show you what it looked like before. See how white this is? This was exactly the same. And look how, how different that is now. So I'm going to go ahead and do it with this one because this is my favorite. This is my favorite wrapping paper with the gold feathers. It is so pretty. And I already know that I would use this. Now this one does take a little while. Um, and maybe it's because you have to do both sides. And sorry, I'm handling it and not laying it down because I have the paper towel there. I don't want it to soak up all the oil. So here you can see it's already soaked in over here, and here it still needs more. So, I'm just going to try moving it to the end there. And again, if you don't want to sew it, you just cut off a little piece and tuck it in a pocket. Just make sure you dry it. And to, it's, a, it's going into a journal which is made out of paper. So, People with books don't usually put them in fire because they'll burn. Obviously, same with anything treated with oil. It's going to have the same problems. It's going to not like, you know, keep away from open flame type thing, right? But then you would do that with a book anyways. Okay, so that one is done. And why do I just want to put it in my hands and... Hmm. 
smells so good. Okay. Now this one, I will say, took a little bit longer to dry. And I think it's because of the paper that it's made of. And it's got the, it's got the touch, the texture of the feathers on the back as well. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that one. So much fun. Um, I don't know. I mean, yes, this wrapping paper had the gold on it, which I confess to you is why I bought it. It was specifically the feathers that I saw that I wanted to play with. So, yes, um, it had the gold foil on there. But who's to say other wrapping paper... I mean, I suppose if you're going to use it as wrapping paper, you want it opaque so that people cannot see through it. But if you want to have some fun with your crafting and your junk journal, why not give the other stuff a try too? Especially with the holidays coming up and people doing Christmas presents and things. Um, like I said, you can use wrapping paper for other things. You don't always have to use it as wrapping paper. So there's that one. I like it so much. All right, what do I have left? I have a napkin I can show you. I did this one the other day. That's the sunflower one. And uh, you can probably see my hand through there. It's translucent. But it... I mean, it will tear. I'm sure it will tear. Oh, sure, it'll tear. But it feels kind of strong. It's not flimsy or as weak as you... Like, it's not like you would put water on here and then it would fall apart. The oil acts different on there, so... Or differently. Then I heard someone say that it probably would not work with cardstock. And I don't know. I haven't tried cardstock. Um, I don't have very thick cardstock. Here we go. This will show two things at once. This is craft colored cardstock. And I'm liking this already. It just totally made that whole thing look like it was inked. So now I don't have to ink it. I can oil it. And again, I don't know if it'll make it translucent, but it sure made it dark. Now that craft colored um, packing paper like this. This will totally work. I tried a little piece of that, but then I lost it, so um, it'll turn the same color as this is turning. And this has more of a marbled look to it now, so I can see dark and light, like the solid parts of my fingers but obviously because it's darker you're not going to see everything so yeah cardstock works maybe just not to the large extent that thinner paper would so then if you had digitals on photocopy paper that should work to some extent as well. And it's smelling really good. It's actually very relaxing. I didn't think I was the baby oil type. And now I'm finding myself really enjoying it and relaxing. 
All right, so there's that one. Again, I don't know what I would use that for. I might probably not use that one. Um, if I was gonna sew it onto something, I could totally do that. I do sew some things, but I try to stick with the thinner pages for sewing as well. So that would have to dry for a bit too, probably overnight. Um, I don't know if I have anything left here to try. Unless you want to see me do a napkin. I was kind of curious about this one because I had already torn into it. So, oh, there goes the back. So watch how fast this is, seriously. And this one probably takes the least amount of oil. Oh, I do like this. This is the even more like stained glass than I was thinking it looked like already. Oh yeah, I really like that. That's definitely gonna be a keeper because for me, the the blue of it was just so bright that I didn't really didn't really have a lot of ideas how to how to use it. But now the blue is being knocked back somewhat, and the color of the hummingbirds is uh, more prominent. I mean, all the colors are still there. It's just, to me, it seems like the blue is not as in your face as it was. So there you go. I don't know, I probably cut out tear those apart and then, I don't know, sew them onto some things like um, cardstock, maybe make a ephemera out of it. Again, you know, I'm sure we'll think of something. Many times I don't have an idea of what I'm going to do with stuff when I initially make it and then eventually I think of something and then I'm like, oh, I'm glad I did that because now I can do this with it. So I'm going to put the lid on this so I don't spill it more than I have. And then... I will just do a little recap here, what we did. Tracing paper. It works somewhat. And this one's still not dry, although I may have just... It was somewhat dry, not complete, but... So, tissue paper, or why do I keep calling it that? It is tracing paper. Tissue paper would work similar to the napkins, which is right here. We tried a music sheet. That, I think, worked really good. Probably one of the first things I would make more of. And then this, because I really liked it. The wrapping paper. So now it's translucent, you can see. You can see through it, you could double up. You can see the dots on the one through. Or you could do that and you can see the feathers through it. So yeah, different things. We did the book page that had been embossed. It's 
still looks pretty. And yeah, so this other napkin. Anyways, not the longest video, but maybe that showed you a couple things that you hadn't considered. Hey, give it a try. You just never know. Some things that you might like, I might not like, just because of how how we how we are different, right? Not everybody likes the same thing, so. All right, that's what I have for you today, and uh, thanks for coming by and seeing what's new. So, take care for now, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.